shit. It's booming. What is up, gamers and YouTubers? Guess who's back? The return. Mark it in the calendar. The what comeback. Is what is it? The day. We're here. And we're definitely not queer. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But Every, it's, it's been. <laughs> you know, everyone's a little bit. At least 10% of them. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's been a really, really long time. At least a year. At, at least a year since we've made a video with both of us in it. But we're back again. Uh, see, basically what happened was uh, I kind of just lost interest. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on where I didn't really have time to make videos anymore. Um, right now, I have absolutely nothing going on in my life at all. So I'm going to try and make baking videos on YouTube my uh, main priority again. Because, uh, Miss you guys, and hopefully you miss us. Yeah, I mean, it just got boring doing it alone. Yeah, making videos by yourself sucks. Really Any, anyone out there that has a good channel where they're making videos by themselves, like I, I really applaud you guys because it's not easy to do that. Yeah, it just I don't know, but we're back. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, we are back. We've been gaming. We're gaming. Playing some video games. Both got uh, Dragon Ball Z. Xenoverse. Explain why. <laughs> Go to the guy. You, you, know, you know why it's called like Xenoverse? It's also short for X5 because it's the 15th game. <laughs> <laughs> With the 15th Dragon Ball Z game since Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Kill. Pretty crafty Bandai. That's good. That's good. I had uh, I had no idea. In the hot nerd. Hot nerd. So, uh, have you been... Uh, what do you feel about these Amiibos, Dave? Um, honestly, I haven't gotten into them at all. I, I don't have any Amiibos. I haven't really had money to like buy anything other than like uh, you know, a video game here and there. Um, I wouldn't mind collecting them. I don't know. They seem kind of cool. I think it's ridiculous how expensive some of them are. Like, I, I know the Villager is like $150. And yeah. I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't understand why either. Um, Especially when Nintendo can just easily send out another batch. Yeah. Like, there's a period where Fox, they stopped making him. Or you. <laughs> well, no, dude. <laughs> and then, like, Fox, they remade Fox again. He started showing up in stores again, so... I like, I like Fox. He's my favorite character. His amiibo is sick. You know what always made me wonder about the, like, the Fox franchise? Alright, so Fox's dad is called James McCloud, right? Have you ever played F-Zero? In F-Zero, in the GameCube version, and I think in the 64 version too, there's a character in it called James McCloud. And he looks just like Fox is dead, but he's a he's a human, not not a fox. But like he's got like attributes like a fox, and he's got like the same like the same color tones, like the same like armor or suit or whatever that James McCloud wears. And like I always wondered like what's what's the connection? There's probably a video. Yeah, it's there's there's got to be. Um, they're both games are made by Nintendo, so like <laughs> there's, it's not a coincidence. There's no way it's a coincidence. But yeah. It's just weird, like, because, like, Fox's dad disappears, you know? Like, did he run off and, like, go race in the F-Zero universe? Become human. <laughs> yeah. We talked about Dragon Ball. That's the game we're currently playing. Yeah. I, I like the game. It is a good game. I don't love it. It's There's some battles that are stupid. I, th I think I'm going to try and make a review of the game this weekend, but... Honestly, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'd be down, because that's a game we both have knowledge about. Right. But I was wondering... Before we'll go into that Dragon Ball review, if there was any retro games you've been playing, or if you've just been sticking to, um, you know, I, I, I well, like not on actual systems, but I did get a Nvidia Shield, and uh, it's like it's like a basically it's like an Xbox 360 controller with a Android tablet attached to it. It's got a five-inch screen on it, and I use it to uh, play emulators. And uh, I've been playing like a lot of Turbo Graphics on it because I don't have a Turbo Graphics. Like a, a lot of like old shoot 'em ups. Like I really got into the game of uh, Blazing Blazers. It's a pretty cool shoot 'em up. I actually beat the game the other day. It's, just, it's the first shoot 'em up I've ever beat. Yeah, I, I've never. Uh... They're hard, man. Yeah, they are. Th yeah. This one's not that hard. Like if you're powered up all the way, you're just gonna like destroy in it. 
I beat some shitty shoot 'em up on Xbox that they gave me for free. So shout out to anyone who knows that shitty game. <laughs> I think it's called something with an A wings, but that game sucked. But uh, I've been playing a lot of like uh, newer games. Like uh, Same I, here. I got uh, uh, what's it called? Well, I, I, Bayonetta. I, yeah, Bayonetta two. I got Bayonetta two for the Wii U. I really like that game a lot. I like the art style. It got really, really fucking hard. Like I think I'm like towards the end of the game, and like you, I got to this part where it's like, all right, like destroy ten bosses with no health upgrade or no health, and then fight five more. And, like, it's just it's like impossible. Like I've tried it like thirty times. And, like, I can't beat it, so I kind of put that game to rest. And then I went back and uh, I played uh, Metal Gear Solid Four because I never beat it. Like, I started it over and beat the whole game. And I'm, like holy shit, man, that game was like the game. Was like, I got like so into the game. I'm like, this this isn't even a video game anymore. This is this is an experience. It should be called like the Metal Gear Solid experience. It's just like it's, it's such a good game. It's, it, I honestly think it's probably the best. I've actually I've, played. I've never played that game. You never played it? It's, no, it's, it's like on my list. You gotta you gotta be in the mood for Metal Gear Solid, you know, because like there's a lot of videos. Like I, I beat the one, the uh, what is it, Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, I mean that, that that's too. not really like that's that's more of a spin off. But I mean that one still got really long videos and shit in it too. But I like that one a lot. That one was fun. Yeah, that was like the sword play with Raiden and shit. That was yeah, I like awesome. I liked it. Yeah, I beat Wind Waker finally for the Wii U. What'd you think? Like I, I never beat it back when I had it on GameCube. I think I got to like the Master Sword and then kind of quit playing shortly thereafter. I like the game a lot. It's a good game. You know, I definitely think it deserves a score it got. But like. I got bored of that game. If you don't know where to go, like, it's fucking impossible, you know? Like, like I had to, like, look up guides online to, like, find where stuff is. I like, think the hardest Zelda game, like that, is Majora's Mask. I, I, I had no idea what I the fuck I never played Majora's Mask. Dude, so I had no I idea what the hell I was doing that Yeah, game. but, like, Wind Waker, it's like, you know, you have to find, like, at one part you have to find the fire and ice arrows. And, like, it doesn't really give you any hint. Like, your stupid boat, like, kind of tells you, but it'll be like, here's a hint. It's not right here. <laughs> like, so they, like, how are you supposed to know exactly where to go? Like, the map is so big, like, without looking it up. Like, I would seriously spend, like, 30 hours, like, sailing across the whole map to find out where to I remember go. I stopped playing that game because I needed to find some boots. I think it was, like, the metal boots. Yeah. Yeah. Like... Yeah. And I just like I just didn't feel like looking for it because this was on the GameCube and this is like when sailing took forever and it was oh, just God, it was. so this was like I just did not want to deal with that shit. Have you played the new Smash Brothers? No, I like I almost bought it twice. The first time I ended up getting paid at it too. I think that's the better decision. Do you think so? I I kind of regret it now. But like the thing is like if I'm gonna get the new Smash Brothers like I have to get the GameCube controller too. I'm fine with the Wii U pad, whatever. Oh, yeah. you, yeah. you use the pad to play? So, like, honestly, I just put on TV. Like, like, I'll put something on, and I'll just play the game on the I, I love that aspect of the Wii U. Like, so do I. I do that all the time, play games on the pad, and then put the TV on. But, like, I don't know. For me, like, Super Smash Brothers Melee, like, that was my game. Like, when I was in college, I, we played Melee so much. We played Melee, like, for 12 hours a day. When I would go to bed, like, the physics to Super Smash Brothers Melee would be playing in my head and stuff. Like, I can see that bump. <laughs> well, they have your, that new 3DS. Yeah, I wonder if that yeah, does you, it. you can with the whatever the little the new stick it's got. That thing was bullshit, the uh, Majora's Mask version of that. That thing, like, sold out in, like, five minutes. I saw them on eBay for, like, yeah, the Majora's Mask really pissed me off because I wanted the... GameStop had one with the Skull Kid dude. Yeah. Actually, they all, I think all the stores had the Skull Kid one. And, like, that thing was, like, bullshit because, like, there's, like, you couldn't fucking get it. I'm serious. And then there's, like, people on eBay that have, like, over, like, 400 of this fucking Skull Kid thing. Like, go on eBay, and it'll be, like, $100, and it'll be, like, sold already, like, 300 something And there's, like, two sellers that have that. It's just, like, it's bullshit. Like, how do you pre-order, like, 600 copies of that? Yeah, it's... Like, that really pissed me off. There's, been... there's been a lot of, like, ridiculous scalping going on with, like, Nintendo things. Like, like when, Amiibos. Amiibos. The, uh, what is it, the, the GameCube adapter for yeah. the Wii U. Like, those, people are selling them for $100. They sell for 20 Yeah, like, it's bad, like... The Majora Mask, uh, new 3DS is. And then, like, it's all Nintendo stuff. Like, you don't hear about it anymore. And, like, else. assholes would buy them all, too. That's the worst part. 
Where are we, are we going on? It's good well yeah. up here. Oh, look, some GameCube sports games. That's not bad, Dave, if you want this. I have a copy of this. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's not bad. For three bucks. I have like they two copies. They actually have a good of amount of sports GameCube games, but... Once again, they're sports GameCube games. Nothing really great. Marcus all. Oh, that's why it's still here. <laughs> What'd you find here? I found a Jurassic Park Danger Zone. You wanna look that up? I'm gonna see. It has. Yeah, it's it's not it's not worth anything. Oh thank God, a SpongeBob plug and play. Our day's complete. Oh, more plug and plays. The Genesis one's not too bad actually. You're gonna get that. One of us has to get it. Yeah, if you that, don't get it, I'll get it. Go ahead. I, I feel like someone should get it. Yeah. All right, you got some stuff. I got some, some stuff. Things stuff. and stuff. What'd you get? <laughs> what is it? All right, I got some stuff what at is the it? Uh, GameStop here on uh, Who Gives a Shit. I got this game called Power Punch. Powerful. I've never seen it before. It looks like a like punch out Mike clone. Tyson's punch out, yeah. Yeah, that's why I got it. It probably sucks. I mean, even look at the characters on the back. Like, I don't like how they look. <laughs> well, <laughs> it looks like a punch out clone. Is it cell shaded? I don't know, dude. I don't know what the fuck this is. Mm, Power Punch. It's $2.50. That's why. Next, I told Dave to get a copy, but he was being Jewish. Zach and Wiki. No, I would never play it. I would, it would just sit on my. On it's my a, couch. It's from. It's made by Capcom. Oh well, that's something going for it. <laughs> uh, all these games have manual and disc. Whoa! What a day! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I. I mean, I got that, and then I got the SNK. That's that's Arcade the cream classic. of the crop. You, is that all you got? I think it was yeah. one more. Yeah, that's that's a good game. I have that for the Vita. Yeah, this was a. Uh, God, I love SNK so much. I spent five on this one. I went, you know, I spent the extra like three bucks for this one. Worth it. It comes with like. Because you knew you had to have sixteen it. Sixteen games on one disc. That's a, that's, that, a, that's, that's insane. Almost seventeen games. That's like do the math. Do the math. That's this many. That's like basically like thirty cents a game. Yeah. It's like 28 something. No, they're good games too. It's got like Metal Slug on it. Yeah. So have King of Fighters. Yeah, King of Fighters 94. Base I love Baseball Stars too. It's like my favorite game. Right. My buddy used to play that all the time. I love Neo Geo so much. But yeah, I collect Wii games somewhat, so I usually get odd looking titles. That's. Like, this I would have picked up no matter what for $5, yeah. but this I probably, you know. Zack and Wiki. That's. This is that's Power an, Punch. Or Power Punch. Zack and Wiki, that's kind of an odd title to pick, but... Yeah, I just got it because it was Capcom. Hopefully you have some fun with that. I'll probably never play it. Well, that's about it. Right now, uh, we're still looking for that home run. I haven't found it yet. Zack and Wiki. <laughs> that's not a home run, that's a grand slam. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more of a base hit, but, you know. Uh, if you want to consider... <laughs> Maybe a foul ball <laughs> strikeout. We, we made contact. How about that? All right. You bought something. And we got this plug and play that none of us will ever play. I would up. play the plug and play before I would play Zach and Wiki. Yeah. yeah like, I'd rather play Zach and Wiki because the plug and play needs four double A's. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going <laughs> to. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go get batteries to play it. But <laughs> if it had batteries, I would choose that over Zach and Wiki. But it's made by Capcom. They made Mega Man. It's made by Sega. <laughs> they made Mega Man. They didn't make Mega Man, but they also made horrible games, too. <laughs> Sonic 06. That game's a classic. That... Possibly the best game ever made. Ever. Well, honestly, let's say it was decent. Let, let's say it was an average game, right? What, Sonic 06? Yeah. Okay. Let's say it was an average game at best. People wouldn't be talking about it to this day if it was average. Right. So technically, they did a good thing by making it so <laughs> shitty that it's still it's going to be talked about forever. Like, so technically, it's a blessing. It, it, it's about as in, infamous as E.T. for the Yeah, it's 20s. like a blessing it's but the, a curse. It's the E.T. 2600 of our generation. <laughs> I don't know, Reese. Dude, I remember I was just running and I just died. 
<laughs> I just like I went through the level and I just died. I was like, wow. It, it's it's not it's not good, not not at all. But that's the good it's thing like, about like, it. What were they thinking when they released it? Were they like? Oh, what? I read about it. Like they wanted to get it out before Christmas. Uh. <laughs> like the guy, like the the people, Sega was like, "Oh my God, the game's coming out tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> you know what's bad uh, that I read about Sonic Boom? Yeah, uh, I heard that thing is fucking. I heard shit. Sonic. Did you see like what they did to Knuckles in there? Yeah, they, like made him like half, like, <laughs> uh, like half I, Pokemon, half. Like, I don't mind that if it was a good game, dude. <laughs> but dude, I was just watching it. It's bad. Yeah, it, it, it looks terrible. I don't know if it's Sonic 06 bad, though. Uh, it, it's Probably. hard to be. You have to try <laughs> to be Sonic 06 bad. <laughs> like, you, have to, you have to aim for the stars for that I one. I love how this one from Zack and Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes about Sonic 06. Where are we going next? We're going to go to the bookstore. The keys are stuck on my pinky. <laughs> All right, we're good, dude. Like, I was I was so excited to like make a video today because we haven't done it in so long. Like, I had like a dream about like YouTubing last night. <laughs> was like, it good? <laughs> no, like it, it was messed up. Like in, in the dream, like I had uploaded a new video of us, did but like get... I messed up like uploading it or something. One so like one question. Was, did we get Sonic 06? No, Sonic 06 was not in the dream. But in the video, like, I messed it up when I uploaded it. So, like, people couldn't comment on the video or something like that. And, like, I was going crazy because of it and I couldn't figure it Honestly, out. And then, like, Billy from the Game Chasers, <laughs> like, showed me how to do it. Because, like, I was watching game chasing episodes, like, last night. And, it's just, like, and I, I woke up, I'm like, well, what? what is wrong with me? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was a ridiculous dream ever, but... Oh man, they got Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3. 40 bucks for Final Fight 2 and 65 for Final Fight 3. That's actually not a horrible deal for Final Fight 3. They also have Dark Stalkers. Which is kind of hidden. Yeah, Dark Stalkers 3. This is. Castlevania Chronicles for fifty dollars. God, that's a lot. This is pretty cool. Street Fighter Two Turbo Strategy Guide for the Super Nintendo. It's just this. That's something you really see very often. Yeah, it's, I like the pictures a lot. It tells you for so, five bucks. I would think that might that be cool. Oh God, <laughs> old horse dies Chun-Li there. <laughs> it's really cool. For five bucks, though, I would think it'd be worth more than five bucks. Right? Could Someone, be worth getting. Somebody's gonna be mad because I, I don't, I'm not gonna pick it up. I don't yeah, think you want to pick it up. I, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't have a lot of money on me. The thing is, like, I don't like. I don't really want guides as much as I used to. I hear you. So someone's gonna be mad at us because we're putting it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get this. You gotta spend the two dollars on Call of Duty for the GameCube. Rare game. I don't know. Which... I heard they have a game than a book, though. Are you ever gonna play that ever? No. Like, are you ever even gonna take it out of your car? Like a month? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. People are probably screaming at their computers right now, <laughs> telling you what to do, and it's probably the latter. But like the thing is, okay, I collect GameCube. I don't collect Street Fighter guides. But if I was a businessman, obviously I, I should go with the Street Fighter guide. What well, what would Dave do? Let's let's. I would get the Street Fighter. Show guide. your face, Dave. Show your face. I would get the Street Fighter guide because. Uh, and we're gonna play that GameCube game and it's a dumb game to begin with. Is that like the first Call of Duty you ever made? <laughs> <laughs> Go play that online, you'll have fun. Alright. You're gonna I'm I want I'm going with the guide. Oh there we go. Alright. Making the good choice. But yeah, they have a lot of awesome guides here. They do have some good guides like Turok 2. Alright, why do we gotta show the Turok? <laughs> you just hate them to Oh the first is double Capcom make Capcom SNK2. It's kinda cool. Yeah. 
I have all the double hand Yeah, we're the assholes that do this. We're yeah. like... <laughs> Take them out and throw them on the floor. Oh, they got this guy. 13. Oh, dude, they got this one? The dark one. I like this game. I remember when 13 came out, my friend was telling me about it. He was kept calling it 7. <laughs> like, how do you get 7 out of there? Like, even if the X was a V, it'd be, be 8. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna man up. I'll, I'll get it. I feel stupid leaving it here. You're, you're making dumb decisions, so. 151 stickers, it sells yeah, itself. Okay. Alright, so someone got the guy. Uh, we just got out of Half Price Books, and after a ridiculous discussion, I ended up picking up the Street Fighter 2 strategy guy. Just, I couldn't leave it there. It's just like, I felt stupid. I don't know. I don't know if it's rare or anything, but it's cool. I like Street Fighter. And, <laughs> It's, I made, got, it's made by the old Game Pro. Yeah. I won with this. Cool. And, uh, Dave said my decision was stupid. We just <laughs> noticed this. It says the official trainer's guide from Nintendo Power. So we don't know. Like, yeah, if you had to send in for that. And the reason why I picked uh, this over that is because of the stickers. Yeah. Mine did have a poster at one point, but someone took There's it. There's no way I that played, like, But I have some sexy pictures of Chun Li in here. So. Yeah, I thought but we did good. Always a plus. We did real good. Uh, I think these are. Cool. Rate right what you would have done if you would have won Pokemon or Street Fighter. Well, if you're under the age of eight, I'd probably pick Pokemon. If you're <laughs> honestly an no. adult, probably if you're Street under Fighter. the age of That's a damn shame, but show that ass. Okay, I don't know where that was. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I got this. Oh uh, yeah. That's gross. God, look at those thighs. Why are they so tan too? Like look how like it's like she really is half horse. Like her legs are all tan, but her upper arms and upper body is She's white. half horse. Is that what it is? It's, yeah. She's... Okay. <laughs> her father was an actual horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's... It's, all right, it's so cool. All right, where are we going now? We're going to the disc replay. You got a... No, you got like Aqua Teen Hunger Force here for like a dollar. Oh, something. God, that game's so bad. <laughs> the golf game. <laughs> golf Pro Am or whatever. Oh, it had like God. eight different names. What? <laughs> It's like Zombie Ninja Golf Pro Am, something like that. Like, I'm pretty sure all those words are in the title. I don't know about that order, but God, that game's terrible. I tried playing it one day for like an hour and a half. Like, it was way longer than I should have been. Uh, it was bad. Zack and Wiki could be a thousand dollar game. It could be, but it's not. It never will be. Why? It's <laughs> stupid. It's made by Capcom. They make classics like. Mega Man, Street Fighter, Disney's Aladdin, Resident Evil, Beauty and the Beast. Oh yeah, they made all those Disney yeah, games. Yeah, they did. They made bad games too. Resident Evil. Six. Six, yeah. Bad five, Man. Resident Evil Five. Raccoon City or whatever. <laughs> that operation. What was it called? Like Operation Raccoon City? Yeah. That, that sucked. That was not good. I like the new one that came out of for all the systems, I think it's Revelations. I play it on the Wii U. I haven't played it. You can actually play it on the gamepad. It's not bad. It's I, only like I a 10 dollar game. I can't play a scary game. I get too scared. It's not scary at all. Like, I've played Resident Evil 4. The other ones, I just can't handle. Like, when I was a kid, like, I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, I slept the night at my buddy's house, and he rented a PlayStation 1, because like, I was still kind of new at the time, and no one had I it. I forgot you could rent systems yeah, back Yeah, back in the day, right? And uh, he rented Resident Evil 2. We stayed up all you night. Yeah, we stayed up all night playing it, and like, dude, like, I was so scared. Like, I ended up having nightmares for like weeks after the game. Was that scary? For me. Like, <clears throat> Hey, we just came out of Second and Charles. It's a pretty cool store. It's big. It had a lot of stuff in it. A lot of stuff was pretty expensive, though. I didn't get anything. D, you I got this uh, this DS game for twenty bucks. Uh, I don't know. I've I've. What's it called? Black Sale. Yeah, something like that. It looks <laughs> kind of cool, like <laughs> something like that. An old school RPG game. Yeah. So I don't know. It was 20 bucks. I remember like watching somebody talk about this game, so I figured why not. You know how many copies of Sonic 06 you could have got for $20? Like, no, we haven't two. ran it. We, <laughs> we only ran into the Sonic Unleashed. The one with the werewolf. Yeah, so I don't know if this was a good buy or not. I don't know. Don't look at me. I've never even heard of it. It's made by Graffiti. <laughs> so that's cool. Fuck. All right, so that's... 
<laughs> Where are we at now? We're at Gorilla Games. We're going into Gorilla Games. I'm not bringing the camera in there. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna go in. The only there. thing I ever buy here is like two dollar DS games. What about horse racing games? Uh, I'll see. I actually bought. <laughs> oh, see. I bought a horse racing game here once. How many horse racing games do you have? Probably twelve. That's a lot. It's way more than anyone. <laughs> any sane person should have of games. For <laughs> You're just mad because I got Black Seagull or whatever it's called. Black Swan. <laughs> yeah. You're so mad. <laughs> Very mad. Caught right. you slipping, bitch. Ah, I don't think. Oh, look, we found some things. King of Fighters 06, Planet of the Apes. But wait, wait, wait. Daikatana. Daikatana. Which game should we buy out of these three, Dave? Out of these three games, I would definitely say The Land Before Time. <laughs> Big Land Before Time fan. I would give the King of Fighters 2006 to it. It's all scratched up. I don't. Oh, uh, they're three dollars. Are they three dollars? Yeah. Two ninety nine each. I mean, I would have got a test drive if it was like a buck. I think you should just get Darkatona. How much? It's probably three bucks. So what test drive's not even in here. Oh. My favorite thing to do. They probably have it in the back. Check this out. Oh, well, no, no one's going to be disappointed now because the game's not it. I'm just doing them a favor. So you're going to get land here. before time? Yeah. Look, check that out. It shows Casper. That's pretty cool. Now, if I open this, it shows land before time. Oh my god, look at check that. Check that what out. Are the <laughs> Crazy. Here, I'll like pan and then you can see it. Hey, do you see the Skylander portals? Oh, thank god. <laughs> I'm running low. Yeah. What's up guys? We are done video game shopping and going to stores and doing things of that nature. We had a, uh, we had a pretty good day, I think. And there's a car. Yeah, cars usually drive on the street. Alright, so anyway, uh, we had a good day. We, uh, we wish we found something. I didn't really have a lot of money to get anything. <laughs> All I ended up getting was this Street Fighter 2 strategy guide, which I'm very really happy with. I like it. It's cool. Good porcelain material. Good, yeah, good porcelain material. We wish we found something like super rare, yeah. but um, I ended up with this. Next time. With this plug-in. I plug. like that plug-in play. I basically got it because I really like this little Sega Genesis thing right here. Yeah. Yeah. You just give you a little C. I honestly got it because of that. Then, uh, got Game Informer. If you want to talk about this, your history with Game Informer? I don't have a history with them. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. They're about video games and stuff. New 3DS. I thought Ooh. you had a history about it. I, thought, I, I don't believe so. <laughs> I thought you loved Game Informer. It, it's okay. It's, it's alright. Alright. Then I got, we stopped at this GameStop. Uh, once, one time I was at a game store and this guy's like, you could go buy the game at LameStop. Really? Yeah, isn't that gay? It's pretty dumb. Or game flop. Was it? Was it like Gorilla Games? It like was talking <laughs> shit about games now. It was. Right, they, right, so we got, they put down each other. I got Power Punch. Dave recommended this. He I, said it's a great game. I did not. I did no such thing. Never heard of it. He says it's like the poor man's Xenoblade, some something like that. Pretty sure you didn't say that. <laughs> I know you recommend this game. <laughs> Zach and Wiki. Dave said this is a great game. I never even checked the disc on this. It's not a great game. It's an epic game. It's an epic adventure. You know, it's been played. Like you can tell, it's been played. A that means times. it's good. You said this is like Mega Man mixed with pirates. Yeah, it is. And basically. Zelda. It's like Zelda, Mega Man, and pirates all into one, which is. That's phenomenal. It's, it's like when you get to the end of a rainbow and you find a leprechaun and it gives you gold. Exactly. It's like the video game version of that. And then we got... Snick. Snick. <laughs> the arcade classics. Um, Dave said this is a bad game. Uh, he, no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't recommend it. Pretty sure Neo Geo is like my favorite thing in the world. This game hasn't been played. I don't think it's ever been used. Zack and Wiki has more play on it. I didn't even check Power Punch. 
kind of forgot to look at the games. Yeah, the games aren't even in there. It's just empty cases. Yeah, this, no one even put this in their Wii. Then we got this Pokemon guide. It's about Pokemon. Uh, it has the stickers. Thank God. That's the only reason why I bought it, right there. It's for these stickers. It's got 151 stickers. It's got all, all 151. Camaro. What if it was just missing one? Like, what if, like, Pikachu was gone? You probably wouldn't have gotten it then. Would I would have been pissed. It's a field guide. <laughs> You're gonna say... Excuse you. <laughs> Alright. And then we finish it off with uh, Black Seagull. Black Swan. It's Black Swan. Black Sail. Black Sail. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh it's not a common game. I for some reason put the price over his head. It's so right you spent twenty dollars on that. It looked interesting. Well, you're never gonna play it. I'm gonna there. play it as soon as I get home. Right now? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. There it is. It's a video game. Uh got its manual. It's made out of paper. It's pretty black okay. swan. Black seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I would well, say... Those are the things and stuff we got today. Would, would you write home about it? this? Personally, I wouldn't, but... What, what does that even mean? Is it write home or ride home? Write home? Like, write home about this? Yeah. Is that like... I don't even understand the meaning of that. Like, would you write to your home and be like, oh, I found okay. these games yeah. Yeah. Oh. Would you write home about it? Yeah, probably. Just <laughs> <Should> do it. <laughs> so Dave's gonna write home about his guide. <laughs> Well, that's, that'd be yours. Yeah, so that, that's all we got. Um, thanks for watching. This is six dollars. Glad that we're back making what videos the fuck would pay and $6 stuff. Six dollars for this. We'll try to make more videos in the future. I don't like that. That was a bad outro. Let's, let's, I'll do it again. <clears throat> yep. Well, that's all we got. Thank you for watching. We enjoyed filming this. Hopefully, as much as you enjoyed watching it. Sorry we've been gone for so long, but hey, we're back now, and that's all that matters. We'll keep making videos, and we we'll keep watching. Rate, comment, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. I'm going to say it again, because I didn't like yeah, how I said that, the first time. That anything. Rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to tell Dave how much better I did than him on this trip. Unless you think he did better. Unless you think he did better than me. Talk much. <laughs> really? Well, gamers and YouTubers... Have a great and fantastic day. I can't Have wait to play Zack and Wiki today. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. Sonic 06 and Zack and Wiki.